Some of the technical difficulties you may stumble across with your plasma cutter are things such as arc quality. Some of these can include inconsistent arc, non-existent arc, or an arc which attempts to blow out the side of the consumables. Another symptom you may see in your work are poor cuts with excess slag or larger than normal cuts. Today, I'll cover tips in which can solve these issues in a very short time. Now, I always like to start out by looking at the consumables since these are most commonly the culprit for any of the most common concerns. Each of our machines has four replaceable consumables to check. Now, let's start out by taking one apart and allow me to explain each part and how it affects the quality of the arc and the cut. First up to come off is the external nozzle, which simply threads off. And upon a close inspection, you can see very tiny air holes on the inside of these, which aid in cooling of the torch and keeping the arc in the proper direction. If these become blocked, the torch will begin to overheat with the possibility of an arc blowing out the side as it's no longer directed properly. No need to worry though, since with normal operation, these last the longest of the consumables. Just double check the air holes from time to time during long operation and before each cutting session starts. Next up is the cutting tip. This is where all the action happens and the plasma arc is forced through. Being the workhorse of the consumables, this cutting tip will be the fastest item to wear out. When checking for deterioration, simply look at the center hole. The longer you are cutting, the larger the center hole will become and possibly even elongate, allowing the arc to wander. As the hole increases, you will find your cuts become slightly less clean with more slag as the precision from the original hole size is lost, not to mention the loss in thickness cutting capability. The enlarged cutting hole can no longer support the same cutting thickness at a set amperage since the plasma arc is spread out over a larger area. An air diffuser is next up in our sequence of parts and plays a vital role in air regulation. A chip, melt, or burned air diffuser from overuse can cut vital airflow inside the torch down, which will not only degrade the quality of the cut, but can also allow excess heat inside the torch, which can cause other components to wear out prematurely. Finally, we have the electrode, which depending on the model will either be a thread in or slide onto the torch. Ensure threaded versions are tight as a loose electrode can cause an inconsistent arc. This part will be the second fastest to wear out, so we recommend having a couple spares on hand for longer cutting jobs. With consumables being the most common way to fix a plasma cutter, which is acting up, I recommend keeping one of our consumable kits handy. These will include all the necessary consumables for quick changing. 